Hello and what is up guys, Tomcat here, and you thought we left off with this map in the last episode? Well, there's another thing where that came from. So, I couldn't, I, I couldn't leave this map alone, basically. I, I wanted to come back to it so bad that I figured, why not just literally continue from right where I was, and continue exploring? Because not a lot of maps will prompt me to do that, but... This one, it, 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 it did. It does. It's, it's that good, and I need to explore the rest of it. It's just, I just need to. I just need to be rescued now from a hole that I've fallen into with a Land Rover. And the thing is, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the Dodge. We're going to rescue the Dodge back to the garage. And wait, hold on. And, yep, I know exactly what we're going to do. Gonna take, we're gonna rescue the Dodge, we're gonna rampage up that ring road, and then meet up with the Land Rover, rescue it, and hopefully just be on our way from there. So yeah, I'm gonna stick it, stick it in high, and just rampage up this ring road. Hopefully it's not too, too bumpy and we don't slide off. And, f uh, and or flip. Because that, yeah, that would suck, too. That would be, ooh, come on, get out of there. Nope, need automatic mode. Come on, pull your stuff out. There you go. Ooh, 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 oh, dear. <laughs> I'm like, dude, yeah, stay away. Stay the hell away from that edge. You'll be in for some shit if you do that. Oh, dang it, come on. Get your crap together, truck. Like, seriously. I love how this map, though, has, like, it's got little streams and creeks running everywhere along the map, and it's, like, it's just so nice. Like, everything is nice about it. It's, and when I say nice, I just mean it's literally, like, the map is just nicely made. Um... And also, too, I need to check on where I am because don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare flip over, please. It's got a lot of lift, but the flex is not as good as CCS's other trucks. So, like, for example, his, his Duramax uh, SEMA truck. So, the problem with that ends up being that the, top, the truck is top-heavy. And being top-heavy sucks. Doing pretty well on this trail, though. Luckily, we'll have some extra grip from these rocks. Rocks always mean a little bit of extra grip, especially when you're, like, when you're coming out of a muddy area, you're like, Yes! Rocks! Oh my god! Unless it's real life and your tires are still covered in mud, and then you go onto the rocks, which, in that case, you're just gonna slip everywhere. Which is annoying, and I know this because I've done it before. Come on! Not too bad. I'm thinking, honestly, the best way to attack this is gonna be... Ooh, not bad. The best way to attack this is going to be medium, you know, medium speed, low three. Uh, just stay out of high, because I guarantee you if we were in high, we would have already been flipped over. I need to bring my Jeep here, like, like the virtual version of my Jeep. I really need to bring it here. Because my Jeep would love this. It's like a whole rock section. Okay. Map check. Defender is over there. I think I have a pretty good idea. Oh yeah, I know exactly where we're gonna drop in. Makes it almost a straight shot. There's like two corners to make, but it's almost a straight shot to the Land Rover. Oh, come on. I can get your uh, get yourself in order. Get yourself in order. What are you doing? Dude, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Why? This truck has less grip than I remember it having. I remember it having a lot more grip than this. I don't know if that's just these particular tires, but these tires should be good. They're Baja Claws. They should have great grip. Still love that dual, um, sh those dual shorty stacks. They look really good. This is different. I haven't really seen this texture used much. Ooh, destroyed the hell out of that rocker panel. Just obliterated it. 
And that, that, my friends, is why you need rock sliders if you plan on going off-road, especially in an area with rocks. Otherwise, ooh, otherwise your rocker panels will hate you, and you will end up hate, and your truck will hate you, and you might up end up, you might end up hating yourself. No, you, no. But that's kind of like going to a drift event with, with no drift armor at all. I mean, I know that a lot of people do it, but... And generally, you're fine until you... Well, if you hit a wall and you have no drift armor, and you're like, Well, shit. My car. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Truck got kind of thrown to the side. Need to turn it left. Turn it left. There we go. Now, I need to figure out which way... Left for Land Rover. Well, actually... Hmm, actually... <laughs> Wrong! Actually... Okay, I'm gonna stop right there, because I know I don't want to go... <laughs> I don't want to go any further than that when it, when it comes to that stuff. Hmm, can we make it up that hill? I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, we could try, but I doubt that we could make it up that. Okay, this truck hates mud. I don't know why. It just really hates mud. I mean, it shouldn't because it's got so much lift and such a big tire, but... I guess it's just all in how he did the tuning, and frankly, he... didn't tune it to like mud very much. So right in the middle of low two is, I think, right about where we're gonna leave it. And... Come on. Ah. Low one. Low one. No, you can't even in low one. That's annoying. That's really annoying. That that bothers me. And I and it bothers me because we're so close to the damn Land Rover, but it it's like nah. Nah, bruh. Nah. No, you're not. You're 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 good here. And I'm like, no. I'm 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 trying to move forward, yo. That should help. Oh yeah. Oh, it helps a lot. <laughs> it helped a lot. Just get up over that lip. There you go. For some reason, the ground is so damn soft over here that it just ended up. Uh-oh, texture problems. Texture problems. Does this connect up with the other trail ever? And eh, not... Well... No, not really. Not for a long... Well, actually, yes it does, but not for a long, long way. I wonder how... Oh, you know what we have to do? Yes, skip, yeah. I just don't like to mess around with the, the night in spin tires. It's just not like the best time of, you know, the, it's not the best time of the day for the game. It's just, it's just like the game doesn't look as good and it's not as fun. So, I don't know why the truck turned off. Shouldn't have turned off. Yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm sorry to say, but we don't have the grip for that. We literally don't have the grip to get up that, that edge. And there aren't any trees close enough to winch up, so we're just gonna have to go straight. I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing, because we're still getting to explore the rest of the map, but I really wanted to get back to that Land Rover as quick as possible so we could actually switch vehicles. Thing moves though. It's like, I think the thing with this map is that the creator, the creator was like, okay, if you screw up and you want to go rescue a vehicle, but you don't want to rescue it to the garage, you're going to have to go through like a lot of trail to get to it. And I'm going to make sure of that. So I'm going to make, you know, make it so there aren't any winch points in the proper spots to get up that cliff. 
and you'll have to go all the way around, which I understand, you know, I understand because realistically you wouldn't be able to go up an edge like that, but at the same time it's like, bruh, why? Why? <laughs> yep, winch hill. 100% winch hill. Pull. Come on, come on. All right, disconnect and pull again. Not bad. Okay, so we're up that. Well, where'd that bridge come from? It's kind of cool though. Looks a little. She looks a little rickety to be honest. I don't know if I'd get up on top of it, but holy hell, that's deep. Don't even. Well, yeah, fine. <laughs> Come on, come on, there you go. All right. Oh, come on, okay, the transmission in this thing, throttle response is weird. It doesn't like to, like right now, I'm like, I was holding the throttle down and I had to click the throttle like three different times to get the truck to actually pick up and move. And none of the other vehicles and spin tires are like that though, so it's weird. So here's where we can kind of make a U-turn. Oh, dear. Ooh, come on. There you go. Maybe I should make sure I'm going the right way before I go any further. Eh, I'm kind of going. You know what? We can leave the Land Rover where it is. I want to get to this rock section and see what it's like. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to make one more attempt at the mud pit in the in the orange Chevy because I really want to we were so close last time like we were we were like right like the tiniest tiniest bit from actually making it so oh come on come on there you go okay this now this looks fun this looks really really fun this looks like something that my Jeep would enjoy This doesn't look fun anymore. <laughs> Why? I even fixed the rock traction with spin tires. Like, why? This truck has terrible grip. It's like it doesn't even it doesn't even want a grip. It's just like eh, eh like eh, whatever, man. I'm I'm just like I'm just gonna sit here. Like, bleh. I'm just gonna sit here. Okay, stop. We'll go around the edge. You have to really take a, a weird line with this truck. You have to take a line that's, you know, not in accordance with anywhere that it might possibly get stuck. And, like, right now, I guarantee you that the Land Rover would have grip... The Chevy would have grip. My Jeep would have grip. Almost anything else would have grip. This freaking truck doesn't have grip here. Why? Why? It bothers me. It bothers me so much because, oh, well, because it doesn't have tr traction. Hey, this shouldn't be a winch obstacle. It genuinely shouldn't be a winch obstacle. Okay, um... There. <laughs> I'm renaming this truck useless. The <laughs> Generally Dodge trucks are really good. I like mine. But this is the like this is a weird addition. This is the Ram 3500 useless. Pull, come on. There you go. A little bit more to get through. Okay, so if, why was that so difficult? It that that shouldn't have been that difficult. It really should not have been that difficult. Okay, so I just wanted to see at least the first bit of that because I know the rest of this is not gonna agree with this truck. So we're gonna make one more run at the mud pit in the Chevy before we uh, before we finish the episode because um, we explored a bit more of the map. 
And now, yeah, it's it's mud time. Time to go mudding. Time to go mudding and hopefully do better than we did the last couple of times. First time was eh, second time was better. And then this time should be pretty good. We already have almost flipped it over, so that's a good start. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, it lost. Wow, it lost all its momentum. Lost its momentum, lost its revs. That's not usual. Oh, keep going. Please. I just literally have it floored right now. I'm staying in it. I'm staying in it. I'm not going to let off. I am not letting off anytime soon. It gets grip when it gets grip, and I'm not letting off. Oh, god dang it. Okay, well, the mud pit run would. The, mm -hmm. the mud pit run was a fail. You know what? We'll make an episode of this dedicated to mud trucks because this is this, that section is like the best test of a mud truck ever. But if you guys did enjoy the, this second episode of exploring this map, don't forget to like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed.